I'm Erica Karp with UBS Investment Bank, and I look after global sector research uh, for the firm. So all the analysts and strategists who have a global remit are the ones that, um, that I try to help along in terms of um, getting them to collaborate and communicate and uh, then offer wonderful predictive insight for investors. And why did you come to the forum? I came to learn. I came to see if I could do my part in terms of facilitating a dialogue and um, maybe elevating the consciousness of, of uh, the capital markets in terms of um, you know, the imperatives of understanding um, biodiversity. Um, what, what were the uh, what, do, what lessons did you take out of it? What experience did you gain? Any insights? There has been so much ground covered, and it's really very daunting. Um, all the acronyms, all the NGOs, all the subjects, all the complexity, all the interrelationships. Um, it's a little bit daunting. It's going to take me some time to assimilate uh, the lessons. But clearly, um, the issues of, of uh, an interdisciplinary um, knowledge brokerage, uh, you know, are going to come through. And um, and again, collaboration to me is is ultimately the answer. Um, I think that's the big conclusion of the week, isn't it, really? It, for me, it is. And I will do my best to facilitate that in my capacity. It strikes me that what that says is that uh, there's a, a real philosophical change that's required from, you know, the public sector, academia, government, um, big business and even civil society mm -hmm. and I, 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 I'm not sure that we're anywhere you know we're not even in the foothills yet are we? Well I hope we are and I think that it, you know one of the things that comes up is the need for education the need for communication um, it, so it is, it is a massive global consciousness raising exercise uh, that needs to happen and I'm hoping that this can happen immediately at least the dialogue the elevation of the dialogue because um, that will drive change. Consciousness, you know, in my view, can drive change. Um, consciousness, um, getting commitment, um, affecting people in a very visceral way. I think that's what drives commitment and ultimately change. Um, it's a um, unique collection of uh, contributors here. Yeah. Did you did you manage to expand your contacts book much? Uh, if so, what were the good contacts you made? Oh what my were you goodness! Hoping to do from it? I can't, I can't even describe it between. Um, uh, academia um, and, and the sovereign nations that were um, represented here, science, um, business, uh, capital markets. Um, I can't even, I have to go through all my notes. I can't even start to think about it. But I will figure out a way, um, a scalable, um, self sustaining way to, uh, to stay in touch with people. Yeah. I saw in the one of the uh, breakouts yesterday that you mm. uh, ended up having a quick word with uh, Rick Stathers from the yeah. Yes. I was wondering what was it, because you seemed quite passionate about it while you were talking, so what was the essence of that and what would be the uh, line of communication that you'd like to keep open? The essence of that is, you know, speaking from, um, uh, uh, I, I can call herself an ecosystem, you know, provider um, in the capital markets. It, it, you know, the asset managers are my clients. Um, the asset owners are their clients. There needs to be um, accountability as a virtuous cycle all through that, that, that ecosystem of the capital markets. And so um, with Rick, I, you know, I would hope we can plan ways forward um, to find a, a, you know, a really sensible way to make um, everyone benefit from better research, better research into the capital markets as it relates to risk-adjusted returns um, for investors. Uh, and finally, was it a worthwhile experience? Um, would you come again? Would you recommend to other people? What would be? What's the main benefit of coming? Okay, um, from my standpoint, you know, again, it, it all has to be processed. But you know, learning how to collaborate on an interdisciplinary level—that's um, kind of what comes from this. The extent to which um, people really do have very similar agendas. You know, and people all have, they all have clients, they all have different constituencies, finding solutions that serve every stakeholder, that's what this is about. Um, so trying to get really explicit commitments for people, um, from people, um, the things that they believe in, you know, sustainability, it, 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 it has to be, um, it has to be genuine, it has to be authentic, it has to be transparent, um, and it, it has to serve everyone's purposes, whatever they are. Um, so to answer your question, that was a very long-winded way. Yes, I intend to come again if Sir David would have me. Sure.